at this moment, it's a sad time in the Boston Ugandan community because we lost um, a pillar, a hero, mother, wife, grandmother, friend, teacher, mentor in our community. Mrs. Katende passed on a few days ago and um, if you want to learn more about uh, what's happening in the uh, programs, uh, please reach out to Global Evangelical Church. In this video, I want to tell you a story of courage. I want to tell you a story of dedication. Um, I've known Mrs. Katende for over 15 years and she took me in as a son, as a grandson, and um, she always stayed in touch with me even the times that I didn't go to church. She was always there um, to support me. So a few years ago, I went on a trip to Uganda. It was a missions trip. So our church holds mission trips every year where they go to different places in the world to preach the gospel and to bring food, resources to people that need these resources. So I decided to join the pastor and his wife to go to Uganda for these missions. And while doing that, I learned something about Mrs. Katende that I'd like to share with you. Hallelujah. Ono mtawa ni wange, wa mzukuru wange, banange, Mr. Nebo mwita Mr. Kankana. Sekatawa, we love you so very much. Tumoku ziza mungana. Zuma afuka abali wano, mwereba gomvu yeri haba sumba. Kati musajia mfumbo, abuli renji ringata ata waga ambie ntege. Ata agena ne mutawa niwe, ne kunyonyi ya zene mutawa niwe. Uwenda wengira ningena ne mbala ambla kumbali wano kulubuto mutawa niye mbala places that we went to were rural these places you know had no electricity uh, barely had any running water so these were not fancy places bare minimum while we were there i was able to witness uh, mrs katende and her courage and her uh, her desire to serve <laughs> This woman had so much energy and so much desire to bring the gospel and to bring a good message to the people in the communities that we visited. But I thank God that in that time that I was with her in Uganda, I was able to see a side of her that I didn't really know. Um, and I was able to pick up an example of what good uh, leadership and how to be an example. The one thing that many people are talking about today is who she has been, which is beyond just a minister of the word, beyond being a mother, but she was a community a leader. And when the news broke out, several people from different beliefs, different uh, parts of the state, different parts of the country, all showed up at the church. Community leaders, leaders from the Muslim community, leaders from uh, the entertainment industry, leaders from our uh, general leadership um, of the community so showed up to show their support. And I think it is us, it is up to us as an obligation to be able to continue to do the things that she was doing, to continue to be kind to each other and to continue to be excellent in all the things that we do. Tende is going to be missed dearly and the church will never be the same without her. May her soul rest in peace. I came with nothing, and I'll go back with nothing but with God. Let the name of God be praised.
when she breathed her last, even the coldness of her face changed. No longer pain, but peaceful. So she had been given the rest. Where she has gone, there is no more pain, no more death, no more writing bills, no more cooking. No, I mean, we have done everything that man can do. We went to Italy and saw the specialists there and came back. But God had other plans. Amen. 